There's no such thing as listening to music quietly. Do you want it loud? Do you want to hear the bass? If you play music quietly, it doesn't work. It's not what music was made for. Modern life exposes us to many loud sounds. Technology has provided many more ways for people to listen to music continuously, but our hearing has not evolved to accommodate the level of noise created. Our hearing system is delicate and easily damaged, and once damaged, it often can't be repaired. In loud environments, our hearing system stiffens up. It's a coping mechanism to try and deal with loud environments like cities or music. But this is temporary. It can only do so much for so long. And if we expose ourselves to loud music and sounds too long, it actually will turn permanent and uh, manifest itself as hearing damage. Because of the coping mechanism, our, we don't know that we're listening to music too loud. Loud noise can cause serious hearing problems. More than 10 million people in the UK have some form of hearing damage. This can occur at any time, developing gradually or instantly. About 6 million people in the UK have a condition called tinnitus, which cannot be cured. Tinnitus is one of the more serious effects of hearing damage. Uh, it comes in two types. Uh, the first type is temporary tinnitus, and I think we've all experienced that out of uh, coming out of clubs, and it's the ringing in their ears that lasts for a day or two afterwards. Now, this is a sign that damage has been done. It's, it's a sign that your hearing system has been overloaded and couldn't cope. Once you get it, it should be a sign that you need to start wearing earplugs or protect yourself. The second type is permanent tinnitus, and this is where simply the noise doesn't go away. The biggest cause of tinnitus is people listening to music too loud. And music is often at its loudest in live environments. With the live music scene growing with millions of people attending concerts, festivals and nightclubs, more people are being exposed to dangerous amounts of sound than ever before. Decibels is a measurement of sound. A rock concert can average at around 120 dB, but even an iPod with standard Apple headphones can throw out an ear-shattering 110 decibels. To put into perspective just how loud our portable music is getting, a sports car getting its engine revved measures at around 115 decibels, while a plane going overhead measures around 130 decibels. Tinnitus sounds, for me anyway, uh, high-pitched. The frequency or pitch of a sound is measured in hertz. Naturally, humans can hear frequencies between 20 Hz, which is low and muffled, and 20 kHz, which is tinny and high. Hearing loss is when the frequency spectrum that we can hear shrinks, leaving only the frequencies imperative to hearing a human voice. Tinnitus tends to register at about 5.5 kHz, which is 8.5 octaves above middle C on a piano. I first developed tinnitus in my mid to late 30s. I went to a lot of gigs, I didn't take care of my hearing. In terms of the volume, uh, it depends what sort of, in a way, what, how healthy I'm feeling. If I've had a, um, a very late night, the next day it will be very loud. If I'm feeling ill, it's loud. I do find the social thing difficult um, in a busy bar or a restaurant, lots of people talking. Uh, I'm, I'm learning to lip read. Tinnitus can range from very quiet, where it is nothing more than a slight ringing in your ears, to catastrophic, where it can seriously affect the sufferer's quality of life. Well, there's no cure at the moment. Uh, research teams are still trying to really figure out what's going on. Um, some people believe that uh, it's one of the bones in the hearing system. Some people think that by listening to music too much, or whatever noise it may be, it doesn't have to be music, is actually causing one of those bones to go into spasm, which creates the ringing. Other people believe it's actually brain damage. With music being produced to be louder than competitors, tinnitus is on the rise. Many people turn to alternative therapies to try and cure the condition that cannot be cured. It's possible to change somebody's perception of an irritation, whether it's an irritation of pain or an irritation of sound, which tinnitus is. If we can change that perception from being a nasty hissing sound to being the sound of a gentle breeze. Yay, big deal, it's lovely. So changing your mind about what something is really, really changes the quality of your life. The best piece of advice is to go out and get a set of earplugs. And it doesn't actually ruin the uh, sensation of music because it keeps the bass. And humans tend to prefer more bass. So by cutting out the high frequencies, we're actually not really doing that much damage to our enjoyment experience either. We'll jump, we have to do Despite our lack of a clue It's up to me and you I've had my ears ringing for ages after playing It's it's a real ball like But when you use ear protection though that You don't get that at all I mean I've just played a gig and my ears are fine The ear defenders cost about 30 quid I bought them basically because 
it's a small price to pay really just to keep yourself safe for the rest of your life like if I wreck my ears now it's going to be a long time to regret it never hit, never get any ringing at all with the summer of our lives